Well, John Watson uh, is an army doctor who's just come back, as in the original stories, from Afghanistan. Uh, and so we're imagining that this is some weeks ago. It's still fairly recent that he's uh, newly back in London from, from his tour of duty, uh, where he was injured. We join him at a very low ebb in his life. You know, he's living in a dingy little flat that presumably the MOD would have provided for him. Um, he's seeing a therapist who he's very uh, reticent about talking to. He's got a. He's got a part of his therapy is to keep a blog about you know his life and his thoughts, uh, which are things that are kind of, if not anathema to him, then they're certainly alien to him. Uh, to sort of share your feelings like that, you know, because he's he's a career soldier, you know. You were a doctor. In fact, you're an army doctor. Yes. <clears throat> Any good? Very good. Seen a lot of injuries then. Violent deaths. Mm. Yes. Bit of trouble too, I bet. Of course, yes. Enough for a lifetime, far too much. Want to see some more? Oh, God, yes. However much he's had a terrible time in the Afghan campaign, uh, soldiers do miss that stuff, you know. I mean, it's kind of well known that when soldiers come back from a tour, they they can go slightly balmy with boredom because no one quite understands what they've just been through. And I guess Sherlock is his best bet for some quick, sort of easily gettable excitement, you know. And he's never met a brain like Sherlock's either, you know. Sherlock has a particular mind that he's never come across before, you know.